here. Today I'm going to do a little tutorial. This can apply to Android PC, essentially anything with a browser. This will be to make Twitter slash Twitch panels, put them in your overlays, etc. and so forth. You need absolutely nothing else, just a web browser. So we're going to go to nerd, like me, nerd, or die.com. This is a great place for they have gaming stuff, free overlays. And this is pretty straightforward, so I'm just going to go through it, how to do it while I'll make it. Once you're on the website, I'm going to click on resources, and free resources. And just a heads up, like anything you see under the free resources, it'll say, um, I'll show you the first one right here, suggested price, $2. As you know, I said suggested, it's donationware. So if you click on it, you can actually put in how much you want to pay for it. So if you want it for free, just put in a zero. We're gonna do this one, Overwatch Twitch Panel Maker. So you can put it on, you know, in your um, Twitch profile, do it as a lower third on a, uh, you know, a video edit or so forth. Once you click on it, it'll just say launch app. And as you'll see, it does not redirect us to download anything. It keeps us on the website. Let this load up here. Man, way too many tabs open. Okay, there it is. And as you can see, here's all the options. So the icons, you have a bunch of them and they work in real time. So when I click on it, it changes. I'm just gonna go to Twitter. My name. My name's pretty long, so it may run off the screen. If it does, I will show how to fix that in case yours does. Yours is also long like mine. Okay, it does not run off the screen, but if yours does, let's say down here below the where you typed, text size, text, and then to the uh, right of it, text horizontal align. You can actually align it. Sorry, the keyboard comes up every time. So you can align it. You get that V out of there. If I was doing something computer, it'd be much easier, but I wanted to show how to do it on here. So get overview of it. <clears throat> and the vertical line that just, <clears throat> excuse me, as you can see, puts it, puts it up or down. That yeah, looks good to me. It's a background color. Uh, let's just do that. And like I said, quickly go over. It's pretty straightforward and easy. Uh, blue. And then the font family. I'm at, I don't know why it, does, why it does this instead of giving you a list to choose from. But I mean, if you have a certain font, you can uh, type it in maybe. We're just going to stick with that one. And so, your icon color change that if you want. Get your whole color spectrum here. We mine white. And that is basically about it. You know, change the text color of course. Once you're done, go down here. Just type in 
whatever you want to name it, and then click download. And bam, there it is. If you're on PC, it'll download to whatever browser you're using. And there she be. As you can see, that's exactly what I made. If you're on you know, PC, you don't really need to share it anywhere since if you're gonna be streaming from PC, then you can just throw it in OBS, XSplit, and so forth. If you're on mobile and then you want to get it to your PC, just hit the share button. That'll bring up you know, all the options you have that your device is able to share to. So let's just share to my drive once. Let's just show you that it does upload in fact. And then checkered background is of course to make it see through so that way if you were to put it as a lower third in a video, it would appear over the um, video, not wouldn't look all messed up or anything. You just layer it on top. And as you can see it uploaded to my Google Drive and that is it. Hope you guys enjoyed. If anyone would like, I can do um, a different tutorial on another resource they provide on that website. Again, it is nerdordie.com. If you like this video, please leave a like below. And I will see you guys later. Have a good day.